Welcome to the Progestry channel. My name is Allison, and today I'm going to talk about short cervix and the risk of preterm birth. The cervix is the cylindrical shaped opening to the uterus that is located just above the vagina. During pregnancy, the cervix normally lengthens to about 30 to 50 millimeters. Cervical length, though affected by how far along you are, is considered short if it is less than 25 millimeters in length at 18 to 24 weeks. Preterm birth, which means the baby is born before 37 weeks into the pregnancy, is linked with a short cervix. This can be deadly to the baby. Though a short cervix is rare, women with a short cervix have a 50% chance of experiencing premature delivery. The shorter the cervix, the more likely a preterm birth is, especially if you have already had a preterm birth. It is unlikely that you'll be screened for a short cervix during regular prenatal visits, but your doctor may note cervical length during the routine anatomy ultrasound that is done around 18 to 22 weeks of pregnancy. Signs of preterm labor, such as frequent contractions, spotting, pelvic pressure, or a dull ache in the lower back are also signs of a short cervix. If a short cervix is suspected, your doctor will perform a transvaginal ultrasound to confirm. If your cervix is found to be short, you will likely be monitored for preterm labor symptoms and potential intra-amniotic infection. However, bed rest alone most likely won't reduce the risk of premature delivery. To try to avoid premature birth, doctors may stitch the cervix closed, use vaginal progesterone, or use a cervical pessary to hold the cervix closed. Talk to your doctor as early as possible during your pregnancy if you have a short cervix, have previously experienced a preterm birth, or are worried about preterm birth. Thank you for watching. Find out more at Pregistry.com. Thank you.